squad? It's a score. Um, got into a rhythm. Um, do different looks at him. Try to trap him. Uh, deny him. You know. Uh, all type one zone. Slow him down. Um, he just kept going. Uh, you, know, you can shoot the basketball. You three level score. And then you know, uh, once he got in the rhythm, the other guys got in the rhythm. Start making shots as well, uh, especially in the third quarter. Um, Defense was terrible in the third quarter, especially um, second half overall, but third quarter especially. And um, you know, once the once the guys start getting confidence and uh, playing free, uh, you know, it was tough for us to come back, especially when we were missing shots. How frustrating is it understanding right now the timing, you guys wanting to build momentum, being here at home, especially this month, and to have a night like tonight? Uh, it was very frustrating. Um, you know, you have uh, you know, two you know, great games um, against two solid opponents, uh, two statement wins in a sense, and uh, you know just want to carry that momentum to tonight. And uh, you know, we came out, you know, with that carryover, and uh, you know just come out in the second half with a defensive uh, presence. Um, and them guys came out and uh, scored 38 in the third. When your team um, in the position you are, like knowing that you got to make up some ground to um, put yourself in a good position in the Western Conference, how do you separate a night like tonight versus what's been on the last month? And, and would you put what occurred tonight um, reminiscent of, of the slump, or do you think there was it was a kind of its own own thing tonight? Um, a little bit of both. Uh, kind of been like a constant thing for us, but you know, like I said, when you get you know two, you know, you're trying to find a rhythm, and you have two uh, great games on both sides of the of the floor, um, and then you kind of just revert back in the second half of this game and um, practically play no defense, you know, against these guys, and the guys getting wide open shots, wide open layups, wide open dunks. Um, we're filing. Uh, so, I mean, just wasn't rebounding. You know, so I think everything you know, on the defensive end, uh, you know, we just didn't do. And about them guys are getting the rhythm. And now you're playing with confidence. And, you know, uh, the rim is a lot bigger for those guys. AD, what are, the, what are the things defensively that you did, yeah, especially with that smaller group that's starting now with, like, the last couple of games and that weren't there? In the third quarter, what are, what are the specific areas? Um, no, I think it was just you know a lot of miscommunication. Uh, you know, so when we were supposed to go over screens, we went under some. Uh, you know, we score and then they come right back and get a wide open layup in transition, which it doesn't make sense. Um, you know, some miscommunication where you know we're helping probably when we shouldn't. The coverage is kind of messed up, and they're swinging the ball, and guys are getting wide open threes. Um, just things like that that uh, we've been able to control the past couple of games, and just didn't do it in the third quarter. Offensively, you guys missed uh, half your shots in the paint. Do you feel like guys were kind of pressing a bit to make up the deficit in the second half, or was it just an off night from kind of missing puck like shots? Um, I mean, we were getting there. It's a level of concentration just to finish. Um, you know, we wanted to get in, into the paint. Well, we did. And at that point, just a level of concentration to finish or, um, you know, drawing the defense in and kicking it out to, to make shots. But uh, it was an emphasis to get into the paint. Uh, we did that, we just didn't finish. Is it concerning that you guys have had you know, so many inconsistent performances across this last month or so. You haven't been able to have as much positive carryover from maybe week to week as you you guys may have wanted. No, I won't say concerning. Frustration for sure. Um, concerning is when you know that you're not a good team and you can't do it. The frustration comes from the point where we know what we can do. We've shown it and we're not doing it. So it's more frustrating than concerning for me.
You got hit in the eye pretty bad in the first. It looks like it was swelling up and you could only see out of one. Uh, it was not that bad. No. I could okay. see out of both. Okay. Yeah. Last question. You talked a little bit, about, you've had ups and downs, ups and downs. How do you prevent this one from carrying over? What are things that work for you and might work for this team to just avoid a hangover going into the first quarter of the next game? Um, come in locked in. Um, like I said, we've been struggling in the first quarters, but as of late, the past couple games, even tonight, uh, we've been pretty solid. Uh, I think we were up 12 at the end of the first. So, um, you know, we just got to come out with a different focus. Uh, in the second quarter and, and coming out of halftime and just locking in on defense. Thanks, Andy. Thanks.